This is what you need. You need a glass jar of water. Then you also need uh, your cabbage. And then you need uh, salt. And then we also need our uh, storage jars. So now cut your cabbage into half. And then you start chopping it into small pieces that will suit into your glass jar. Okay. And then collect your cabbage uh, on a tray and then add salt. Now the function of this salt is just to extract the water from the cabbage and that reduces the amount of oxygen and therefore aids in anaerobic fermentation. You can as well add apple cider vinegar which is ACV that will also hasten the process of fermentation. So salt is very important in this process. Now sometimes your cabbage is so dry so you might be uh, tempted to add in uh, some water. Don't put in too much water. Okay, add water and then mix. Well, in now you're prepared, just start to load your cabbage. Ensure that your jars are filled to the brim. Now it's time to press your cabbage. Remember, we need to leave some space so that when fermentation happens, the gas that are produced do not pop out your lid. Now it's time to close up your jars, ensure that the lids are airtight so that no air is allowed to get into your cabbage because that will bring uh, molding, so it will form molds and that bad smell. So close them tightly and now they are ready for storage. This cabbage is ready for storage, but remember, uh, light is your enemy. So fermented cabbage is supposed to be stored away from light. This is because the bacteria that ferment the cabbage flourish well in the dark. <laughs> 